What's up, everybody? I'm Big Mike. I'm Brando. And I'm Clinton. And this is Brewheads. You're damn right. And today we got another one from Kent Falls. Kent Ooh. Falls, baby. What's this one called? Buddy Sprinkles Saves, saves the, the Day. day. What? Yeah. yeah. What kind of a name is that? Buddy Sprinkles. All right. Now, as always, Kent Falls uh, can art. On point. On point. It, it's always yeah. on point. Even the basic stuff be on point. Uh, yeah, we have a couple breweries that we really like, regardless of beer flavor. Um, can art. Can just art. for the can. Yeah. It, it's an automatic pickup. As soon as you see the can, you just want to pick it up. Yep. I mean, sometimes, I forget which one it is. It's in the, There's two Kent Falls that are like real hypnotic, kind of uh, like uh, uh, tie-dye-ish, yep. uh, kind of crazy, kaleidoscope looking things. I mean, you just gravitate towards it. Yeah. But this one, I mean, you got a goddamn cat. On a boat, like George, yep. like yeah. George Washington. Like George Washington, but as a cat, as a cat, and I don't think there were unicorns with lasers and rainbow fires when he was in that boat. No, no, but you got some rain, you got some fucking unicorns back there. Yeah, laser beams. Yeah. What if the painting, rainbow fire? What if the painting of George Washington on the boat? Crossing the Delaware River. Is that what it was? Yeah. I don't know, but we'll go yeah, with it. Yeah, it was the I'm Delaware sure. River. Crossing the Delaware was inspired by this artwork. That I can see that. Like it, maybe yeah. this is the real story about what happened back then. I think so. I'm I'll go with that. I would the be unicorns completely... aren't around anymore. No, they're not. Right. Yeah, you don't see much of them anymore. They're not around. Um, they all went extinct with the dinosaurs. Yeah. Yep. That's let's, where we are right now. Let's crack it. Let's crack <laughs> it. All right. So I'm going to read it first. Well, if you yeah, don't mind. Yeah, yeah, right. Buddy Sprinkles saves the day. One pint, Imperial Pale Ale, 7% alcohol by volume. Kent Falls Brewing Company. Brewed and packaged in Kent, Connecticut by Kent Falls Brewing Company. Like we said in other ones, we're going, baby. We're going to Kent. It's yeah. just a little far. It's not too far for us, it's but... It's a little far. It's... It's a little far to go get wobbly and then drive true. home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very true. There it is. Very true. But we're going to do it. We'll do it for you. Um, so let's... Uh, Crack it! Mm. All right. Buddy Sprinkles. Ooh! Yep, you already smelled it. All right. Mm. So, like we said, color. Color. Haze. That's a nice... That, on, on the cusp? I'd say, yeah. It on is the on the cusp. cusp of dirty. Mm -hmm. And dirty about, we mean the extreme end of haze. Yep. All right. That smell. Here we go. That smell. Ooh, man. Are we sipping? Are we sipping? No, 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 no. no. we're smelling. Ah, we're smelling. It. Got that tease. Got that tease. It's got that nice fruity aroma. Yeah, it's a nice fruity aroma, indicative of a New England IPA. Yeah. But it's got that, that, that little something different. Do you drink? Uh, yeah, Wait, he's, he's waiting. All right, he's all right. waiting. All right. I heard it. He swallowed. All right, I'm all right. ready to drink. Right, Step three. Go. Wow, is that a fruity, clean bad. finish? You already know what I'm thinking. Yeah, but it's not it's that good. bad. It's not. It's not that bad. I got nervous because was it grapefruit? The, yeah, the initial taste you That's get the, that acidic grapefruit <laughs> and the hang. The hang is grapefruit. The hang has that it, grapefruit it has, acidic. The acidic is there. But it does, and it's so it, good. Yeah, it's, it's good. But the grapefruit flavor is actually dulled down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that. You know it's there. Yeah. And you can tell that the um, acidicness is dulled down even for it as well. It has that I carbonated. I actually really like it. Yeah. It has that carbonated soda feel to yeah. it. Yeah. The nice lace on the glass, like yeah, just going. It's, I stick around. This, oh man, this tastes like a just straight up New England IPA. If I had a Tums, I would drink this all day. <laughs> but you know what? He brings a good point. A lot of people, yep. there's quite a few people that that acidic grapefruit taste that you get, it affects a lot of people a certain way. Yep. This is a, like, this is a, <clears throat> the way hop and the way acidic, the way, uh, Yep. Clint, go ahead. <laughs> uh, everything about this, you know, the things that make me, you know, not like a beer, whether it's grapefruit wise or whatever, everything about this is dulled down to a 
manageable level. Manageable level where, I mean, I still don't particularly care for the flavor of beer, but I would purchase this because there's a lot going on here besides there's, just the yeah, grapefruit. Yeah, there's a lot of... That it's dulled down to a, a point yeah. where the grapefruit is not a dominant flavor. Yeah, that. that grapefruit acidic flavor is in the background. Exactly. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's there too. You know too. it's there. Yeah, yep. it's one of those, that's there too, but. Yeah. It's in the nosebleed section yeah. of the bleachers, kind of just like, hey, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say nosebleed. I mean, I'd say. Popped it up. Pop, like, pop, pop, couple pop it up seats like, back. Dusty! Couple, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Couple seats back, letting you know it's there. I think I felt your dick on my leg when you did that. <laughs> but, yeah. Toasty! It is back there, it is not prevalent. No, it is. It, it's there, but there's some other flavors there. You know, you get you get a nice mm. little juicy flavor yeah. to it, like a juicy hop. It is, yeah, yeah. a juicy yeah. hop. A juicy hop. Then the grapefruit comes by after, just like yeah. you know, it's like that good neighbor. Yeah, like a good neighbor that returns that? your tools. <laughs> yeah, you returns your tools. Right, right. But the hang of it after, yeah, it has a grapefruit. It has that grapefruit. Like you, you just feel like you just had some grapefruit juice, or like that you ate a piece of grapefruit. Feel. Yeah, I feel yeah. it. I feel it's it's very pleasant for me. I feel it's very pleasant. Yeah, no, I mean, if you don't mind that right. grapefruit flavor, yep, it's it's good. If you're someone like Clinton, where it's like, stay away. I can see where you know it's still good because it it's in the background. Good. Yeah, it's not. A, this is not one a, of those ones I have to say where I feel it is it. It's very hard nowadays to make a New England IPA different and complex and yeah. different than everybody else. Because, I mean, you could put 12, you know, New England IPAs from 12 different companies. You have all 12 of them, and there's slight, su such very similarities slight, yeah. and very slight differences. Preferred. This, to me, is a New England IPA with that pineapple background that stays in the background. I think that's a really awesome thing that you guys did. Really On purpose yeah. or not, just it's a really byproduct good. of what you did. Awesome job. Very good job. I would probably you know, purchase this. You know what? In all honesty, I can say I have not been disappointed by Kent Falls yet. Nope. We're waiting and we're looking. We're trying to be disappointed, but you guys just keep pounding out stuff like this. Yeah. What, uh, Mike, nice. what are you thinking for a rating? Mmm. 375. 375 for me. This is good. I mean, this is this is right up there. I don't even remember what I rated. Uh, the unicorns are making us do this, but this is right up there with the with that. It's good. It's good. I think you guys are actually going to be surprised by my rating. I'm going also with a 375. Um, I think that in the world, like I've stated, of just this New England IPA rush. I think you've been able to differentiate yourself from others, not only with your can art, but with what's in the can. Um, so great job, 375. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep playing with those malts and those hops and everything and putting the stuff in the background and the foreground. Awesome job. Clinton. Clinton, what you got? I'm actually going with a four. Wow. God, damn. I actually Holy really shit. like it. That acidicness sucks for me. It does. Cause, yeah. I mean, even though it's, it's minuscule, I can still feel it. Apparently, I must have like a, a sensitive esophagus. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> hold happens. on, let's find out. No, <laughs> it happens. But uh, it, it's like that hurts so good feel. <laughs> you like know, like I a said, back massage. Find out. <laughs> yeah, like a back massage. You know, like when you get like a deep tissue back massage. It hurts so good. Yeah, I, yeah, I actually really enjoy this. I would absolutely purchase this. This is a this is a That's four a all day for me. Four all day. I'm actually confused a little bit because you like it so Be much yeah because like it hurts but yeah. it's like oh that's really i feel good. like you've been magooed and you've been baffled and bamboozled yeah and i mean it happened yeah dude. i mean between the couple beers we've had it's just yeah this and it's that. such a yeah this is such a nice clean crisp finish yeah year-round oh yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah year-round beer i don't know if buddy sprinkles is a real cat but he seems like a badass, and I kind of want to meet him. Yeah. So if you could do that when we visit. 
close it out. So that's our thoughts on Kent's Falls. Uh, Buddy, Buddy Sprinkles saves the day. There you go. And uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. First of all, hang on a second. Let's just show that can art one more time. All right. So uh, make sure you show. <laughs> make sure you guys make follow sure. us on all those social medias: the books, the grams, the tweets, the twits, the twats, the the untaps, all that shit. Yeah, untapped. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Bless you, Mike. Sorry. It's in tight. It's season. Thumbs up, wet and sticky. All right, so have a great day. Catch you on the next. Catch you on the next one, and stay wobbly, my friends.